What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're playing Detroit Become Human again. This is episode two. So if you haven't seen episode one, it's down below in the descriptions. But anyway, let's get right into episode two, November 5th, 2038. Okay, Cyberlife Inc. Model AX400, serial 579. Okay, that's too fast. Cool. I mean, it's uh, rebooting. Yep. Okay. It's not rebooting, and there's like a little girl. Okay. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Wow, 10,000 different dishes. And, um. Okay, androids selling androids? I mean, fair enough. Where are we? Ooh, some merch. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is a box. I guess that's a box if you if you buy a um Android, it comes with a box. It kind of looks like a DualShock 4 box when you buy a DualShock 4. Anyway, Android Zone. Okay. Oh wow, look at those um parts on the wall. There's like leg legs. Anyway, um sup bruh. I mean, how many models of androids are there anyway? There's like, um, this one is like AX something, um, MP800, the guy said. There it is, what? Okay. He's definitely lying. <laughs> I mean, from his, um, response there. Yeah. Okay. That'll be fine. Okay. Oh, oh I, I guess this was the one in the trailer. IX400. Kara. My name is Kara. She kind of she kind of looks like Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. Oh, opening sequence. Okay. Wow. The graphics is really really good. Valerie Curry, I guess. Brian Decker. Uh, Jesse Williams, Clancy Brown, ah, oh, Minka Kelly's here. Also, Lance Henriksen is here. Great actors. Mm -hmm. I guess it's like showing um, how Detroit looks like in 2038. I mean, I've never been to Detroit, but um, I don't know how it looks like today, so I wouldn't really know the difference. But I think the difference would be like the technology, like the flat escalator. Probably that one's like real, that statue. Even that um, cathedral in the park. Oh, those cars look nice. They look futuristic, <laughs> obviously. Um, wow, that's a nice time lapse. I really love these types of games where it's like cinematic and you have to give choices to um, your character, like um, Life is Strange, Until Dawn, you know, those types of games. I really love those types of games. Okay. Because of androids, I lost my job because of androids, help me. Ooh. I feel like this game is going to be a some sort of a, a power struggle, I think. Um, yeah, it's some sort of power struggle between um, android and a uh, Humans? Androids and Humans, written and directed by David, David Cage. Okay, so far I'm loving this game. It's very movie-like, and I love games like that. That's very, you know, story-based. November 5th, 2038. Trees. 9.38 a.m. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I'm in the... Who's... I guess this is the guy from the cover of the game? Looks like it. Okay. He is the cover of the game. So I guess I'm him. Go to Bellini paint shop. But what happened to uh, um, Kara? I thought we're them. Okay, um, all right. Uh huh. Oh, what's that? Read. Tech Attic. That's a nice. Um, you can reread discover. Okay. Okay, the extras, okay. Uh, Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. Wow. Okay, uh, page one. Let's go down. 
Okay, Secrets of Androids, how cyber life designs its androids to coexist with humans. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge cyber life had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at CyberLife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions, and we soon realized that there was there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Yep, I mean, they really look like human beings. Okay, CyberLife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. I mean, yeah, that's nice. Okay, down. Um, they created androids of both genders and all ethnicities and analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, facial, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity down to details that androids simply don't need is the secret of CyberLife's design success. Okay, right, next. Green Earth, world temperature increased by 3 degrees since 2000. Um... I guess that's a good thing. I mean, it's slow. It's slower compared to in real life, actually. I mean, it's 2038 and it's just three degrees. I think now it's, I mean, uh, from 2000 to 2018, I guess it's three degrees already. I'm not sure, I'm not a scientist, but hey, it feels like it. But yeah, climate change up. How the environment is changing America's society. Miami, Miami to heighten sea wall by further 10 meters. Okay, that's quite dangerous if Miami's um, raising their sea wall. A recent U.S. census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. I mean, it's gonna get flooded sooner or later. Waterside real estate in once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight, with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Okay, what's that? Page two. Okay, coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes and other climate weather. Okay, I read that wrong. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climate weather. They're also suffering from urban flight, with all the services and amenities following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this the donut effect, whereby the previous centers of coastal cities gets hollowed out. This census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies. It in ways previously not imagined, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation, okay? Exit, I guess we're done. Right, so, um, okay, what else do we need? Okay, there's the paint shop. Um, can we, like, you know, look at anything? Ooh, there's the uh, gardeners cutting grass. Um, you right, mate? Nope, okay, okay. Jogging, working out. Oh, wow. Okay, Bellini Paints is in this way. Right? Nope. <clears throat> hey, L1. Water. 12 miles? That's. <laughs> I can't even run 12 miles. Okay. Oh, they bumped into that girl. Okay. Yes, you do. Okay, that's green. I guess we, let's cross. Okay, wait for green light. Did, there's not even a warning there. It just like turned red. What if someone is uh, in the middle of the road? Okay, that's a nice taxi. Anyway, are we good to go? Ooh, futuristic cars. Oh, there's a the police is there. Okay. I mean, imagine like in real life if androids are like walking like this, like walking back and forth. That would be like creepy. Okay, it's green. Let's go. Okay, why am I not moving? Okay. 
AP700. Okay, R2T's GPS. I thought that's, okay, never mind. Oh, let's get there, 62 meters. Let's look around first, I mean. Ooh, temporary parking. I mean, why would androids need parking a lot? Why would androids need parking if they're like assistants or like, you know? Okay, um, can we buy a hot dog? All right, let's line up. Buy a hot dog. What's he selling? Bagels. I mean, not really. I mean, there's only one customer you had. Wait, um... What's... Hot dogs and pretzels. Okay, okay what's this? Okay, that's rude. <laughs> that's rude. Okay. Oh, cool, the things change colors. Right, um, what can we explore? Let's go to the right. Cops, you're right, man. You're right, buddy. All right, here. Okay, there's um, there's a guy sitting down. Can we? No, nothing. Ooh, what's this? Okay. I mean, there's nothing. There's really nothing much you can do. Let's explore first before we heading. Oh, that's. What's this guy? James and Carter. Okay, something's with him. Oh, I don't want to get close enough. Okay, there's something here. Okay, L1. Oh, man. Demon. Sure. Are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Foreshadowing. <laughs> That's I guess foreshadowing. Destroy Detroit. The machines. Or that could be like uh, context clues. I mean, let's check out other stuff too before heading to Bellini Paints. Anything here? What's that in the fountain? Where are those? Leaves? Oh, okay. Okay, I can, um... Okay. Ooh, human music. One dollar to hear music with soul. Okay. It's cool. What's that? Hot dog. I mean, there's two hot dog stands. One is the one in the trolley, and uh, one here. Like it's a canteen or something. Can we? Not <laughs> more androids. Okay, yeah, this is getting out of hand. I also feel like this game is going to be very racial in terms like, you know, androids versus humans. Also the power struggle I mentioned in the first episode. Like, yeah. Oh wait, something is there. I can see it. Is that the musician? I thought we're done with the musician. Musician? <laughs> musician. I guess we could look around. I guess we haven't got something yet. Or is it? I don't know. Okay. Human music. Human music, one dollar to hear music with so. That's cool cinematics. Ooh, camera slowly following the um, subject, as you do. Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing here already. Let's um, go to the paint shop. Digi groceries. Wow, that's very handy. What do you do with this? Ooh, order items, delivery, wow. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Okay, I guess it's here. Uh, what's this? Oh, what happened? Movie posters, ooh, rack, raken, raken, target. Okay, invasion after mankind. Okay. Bellini paints, all right. Um, I guess there's nothing more to do. Let's get in. Ooh. That's 
I mean, I've never seen a paint shop that's like as fancy as this one. I mean, look at that. That's um, next level paint shop. Okay, um, can we do anything else? Nope. Okay, um, connect. That's some nice music. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Okay, so one just must have Okay, he's very creepy. Identification verified. Ooh, wow. Number 847. $64 for paint? That's quite expensive. Okay, that's um, hella expensive for paint. Okay, transaction complete. I mean, if it. Imagine if, you know, payment's just like that easy. You just like look at each other in the eyes and. Okay, payment accepted. What was that? Take um, take bus home. All right. Open sesame. All right. Okay. Um. I want to switch camera angle. Ooh, that's very helpful. I mean, why did you just teach? Why did you just teach that now? I didn't know why I struggled there. Okay. Where is the bus? It's over there. Okay. Ooh, Cyber Life. Get yours today. I guess it's a Cyber Life store. What's that? Uh, okay, there's a protest going on. Oh no, I didn't. Oh man. What's this? Trouble. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> okay, that's rude. <laughs> oh, that's rude. It's gonna be very race specific. Ouch. Can I just feel pain? I mean, I can't, like Connor said, I can't die. I'm not alive or something like that. Okay. Oh. Ooh, okay. Waste it. Do it. All right. That's enough. All right. Damn it, I don't to have my G, my G. Cops. <laughs> move along, move along, like I know it too. Alright, okay, Cyber Life Shop. Can we, like. I mean, <laughs> Proto is not yet over, seems. Can we, like, go into. No entry for um, purchased androids, okay? AP 700. P700. I guess this is the uh, model, the current model. It's like AP700. What's what's the model of this guy? Millions nope, nothing. Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing more we can do. Take the bus home. Let's take the bus home then. Wait for bus. Okay. Right. He has some serious green eyes. I mean, how can I do this? Android compartment. Is there a specific um, bus for androids? Actor. Okay, no, no, no. There's, um... Oh, wow. Segregation at its finest. That's... Ooh, cathedral. Okay, wow. There's no one in the human um, section, but... Androids are full in the android compartment. Oh, he's got some facial hair going on. So that's very um, detail oriented. That's very detail oriented by you know cyber life. And I guess that's the end of this episode of Detroit Become Human. So um, leave a like rating down below if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new around here and turn on that notification because I'm doing a series with Detroit Become Human because I'm really loving this game. And goodbye.